Unraveling Idioms. Step off the twig, deciphered. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of idiomatic expressions. Specifically, step off the twig. Idioms are a vital part of language, adding color and depth to our conversations. This peculiar phrase might leave you puzzled, but fear not. We're here to explore its meaning, origin, and how to use it effectively in everyday English. Step off the twig is not your everyday expression. It's an idiom that implies an abrupt change or departure, often referring to someone's passing or a sudden end to something. The twig metaphorically represents the fine line between life and continuity versus an abrupt end or death. When someone steps off, it signifies crossing this line, leading to a significant change or conclusion. Delving into the origins, step off the twig seems to emerge from the imagery of a bird perched on a twig. The moment the bird steps off, it takes flight, symbolizing a departure or a transition to a different state. Over time, this imagery has been woven into the fabric of language, illustrating life's fragile balance and the suddenness with which changes can occur. Though not a common phrase, step off the twig can be used to add a poetic or dramatic flair to your conversations. It's particularly effective in storytelling or when discussing life's unpredictable nature. For example, saying, he suddenly stepped off the twig, leaving us all in shock, adds a layer of depth and emotion, conveying the abruptness and the impact of the event. It's important to note that idioms, especially those dealing with life and death, carry cultural weight. Step off the twig, while descriptive, should be used thoughtfully, especially in formal or sensitive contexts. Understanding the cultural nuances and the audience's perception is key to employing this expression appropriately. We hope this journey through the idiom, step off the twig, has been enlightening. Idioms like this enrich our language, offering creative ways to express complex ideas and emotions. Whether you're a language learner or a seasoned speaker, embracing such expressions can add depth and vibrancy to your communication. Happy learning, and remember, language is not just a tool, but an art form, full of nuances waiting to be explored.